In this video, we're going to derive the density and likelihood for sensor data. <coughs> and I'm going to stress density because most books you read, and even uh, websites, they will only show the likelihood for sensor data. And the density and likelihood are essentially the same thing. And I'd like to, and you after this video, you'll see that they only provide part of the likelihood for sensor data. Now it's the relevant portion of the likelihood that's relevant to estimating the parameters of failure time. But still, I think uh, deriving the density it, it will be pretty informative for you. So if we let T be the failure time of whatever ob we're observing, has a density, a cumulative CDF, a survival, which is one minus the cumulative and it has a, a hazard associated with it. And the censoring mechanism also has a density, a, a CDF, cumulative dis distribution function, a survival function, and a hazard associated with it. So C is a censoring mechanism, T is a failure time. So our observed data, and we're going to just look at right censored here because that's most of the cases that I have done. But at the very end, I'll write down for the, the likelihood for the general case. And sort of the normal thing here, where we observe a pair of, of observations. X is the minimum of the failure time or the sensor time. And uh, the delta is a 1 or 0. And we're going to let it be 1 if the failure time is observed and a 0 if it's censored. And this piece here that the failure times and the censor times are independent is very important. So we want to find the density, which is the probability that cap x is little x and cap delta is little delta. And this is the little x is greater than or equal to zero. Delta is uh, zero or one as we defined up here. And note after I wrote this, um, the the little uh, the density for the failure times, which is here, is not equal to this f for the density of our sensor data. It's not equal. So technically I should probably maybe put a subscript T and a subscript X and delta, but I'm going to leave it off for this talk and it'll be apparent which one I'm talking about. If not, then I'll add subscripts to it. So let's take a note first and uh, or case one where delta is one. So we observe the uh, failure time. So so this, this means that the sensor time is greater than our, uh, our failure time. And since this has to happen and this has to happen, as it says we observed X. So really this is, is X. And since they're independent, we can break them apart. And then this is just the density for failure times and this is the survival function for the censoring mechanism. Okay, so now um, one, one might argue that the probability of a point in a continuous distribution is zero. So why isn't this probability zero? And you, technically you'd be correct and here we should actually say the probability of being in a small interval from x to x plus delta, uh, you know, dx or delta x and let the limit of dx go to zero and what's the um, the limiting distribution of that? Well, it ends up just being the density. And so while I'm uh, skipping some s sort of needed math, this heuristic argument is is pretty good in my in my mind. Okay, so and it leads to the same conclusion. <laughs> and so let's look at the second case where delta is zero. And this means that 
we observe the sensor time. So here it says X is, you know, X is little X, but X is the sensor time because of this. And so T, the value time is greater than C. So here we said C is X. So we can put an X here. And so the sensor time, and the failure time is greater than X. They're independent, so we can break them apart. And so this is the density of the censoring mechanism, and this is the survival function for the failure times. Okay, so with these two pieces of information, we can write down the density for our observed data, and it's this. And, and uh, when delta is 1, we're in this setting, which was here. And when delta is 0, this drops out, and we're in this setting, which is here. So this is the density. And we can rearrange this. So this has to do with the failure times. This is the censoring mechanism, censoring mechanism, failure time. So let's put those two pieces together and we get this. So this has to do with the failure time and this is the censoring mechanism. And as I said earlier, this is the density. This is the true density of our observed data. So this is also the likelihood. So the likelihood, now there's some parameter associated with this. We can call it theta, and the, and the parameter associated with this was is phi or something like that. Um, but some people like to express the density through through hazards, so we can rewrite this, and I'm going to do that. This those for the like hazards. Um, remember, this is the failure time, and then this this can be broken up into s times s of x minus delta. So when you take it down and combine it with this, that's the hazard. And then you're just left with the survival uh, function. And you can do the same thing here, that um, the g, cap g and little g, that delta can be brought down and, and, and put the hazard for our censoring mechanism. And then this is the density. Um, but now to the likelihood function. First, we need the joint density, joint uh, yeah, joint distribution of our data, and so those are vectors now. And that means we take and since everything is independent, we just take the product of this, of each x i and delta i, and and this is it. So now if we treat this as a uh, a likelihood okay now we want to maximize it in terms of the the parameters for failure and the parameters for our censoring mechanism well we're not really interested in the parameters for the censoring mechanism so when we take the derivative or the partial derivative with respect to theta this drops off. We, we're actually, we have to take the log likelihood of it. <clears throat> um, to, to, uh, to maximize it. But we're not doing that. I'm just finding the likelihood function. So th this is really irrelevant when we maximize the log likelihood. So most books, most websites just leave this piece off because it's not relevant when we maximize this for our failure times. So our log likelihood um, ends up being now is just this. And this, this is the density for our failure times and the survival function for our failure times. So the uh, delta and the phi drop out essentially and they only provide this. And the reason is when we maximize the log likelihood of the true likelihood, this piece drops out anyway, and we're only left with that. So why not just start with that? Keep it simple. 
Now, if you like has in expression terms of the hazard function, you can do this. So the general form for this likelihood and is we're taking the product of our density over all the observed failures or deaths. And that's what this says. Take all let D be an observed death or failure. Take the product. And here is let R be right censored observation and we take the product of the survival. So this is a general form for the likelihood of right censored. Now if we're going to do this for the general case, it's actually similar. So in our data set we can have failures, right censored, left censored, and interval censored, and then the likelihood becomes this, where you take the density, the product of the densities where we, it's an observed death or observed failure, product is a survival when the, it's right censored, the product of one minus S, the survival, which is the um, CDF, could have put cap F here, and and the subscript is, is L, which is were all the left censored data and this one the I is in cap I which is all interval censored data so you take the right the upper endpoint minus the lower endpoint and then you come up with this and so this is a general likelihood now remember that technically there's going to be a uh, censoring mechanism component on this but when you maximize it for the parameters of our failure time, the, the censoring piece drops out and we're only left with this. So it's essentially all we need. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.